yeah, I mean, I've, I'm actually thinking about just, you know, growing some. This is, you know, I guess probably by coincidence, but I was thinking yeah. about growing some. Uh, because another lady from Mali gave me uh, Jahatu. Which oh, yeah. Is, yeah, that the red one. one. The red one. Um, and um, she, she came and I was going to try that this year also. Well, so I, these three, these are all the same species, even okay. though they all look different. Right. I just looked it up, and it, the internet says it requires 100 meters isolation okay. to keep the varieties Separate. the same. So, okay. so I wrote I wrote 100 meter on one of these, but they all have the, the names on there. And, uh, yeah, if you can, if you end up growing a seed yes. crop, yes. you know, really just the same. Save, okay. save like a, you know, you can save a half a pound of seed and that okay. will last us three or four years. Okay. Because <laughs> there's such we, a small seed. Unless we sell even more. We've only done unless we sell a lot. in January. Okay. And uh, we don't think there's many companies like ours. You know? yes. so, we would take any of those. I mean, if we can get, keep them isolated. Okay. This one, we have one of our interns, a student at American University. Tyler's growing this one. Okay. But these two don't have growers. Uh, or maybe I sent them to somebody so else and didn't write Simon them down. White Simeon's is white okay. is that one. Okay. That could really use a, okay, a grower. And the red grow. one All right. as well. Okay, and then cool. this one, yeah. the gray zucchini, is like a Mexican. Actually, it was, I mean, originated in Mexico, uh -huh. then traveled to the Middle East. Okay. They like the really pale ones. They call them Cusa. And hmm. then those traveled back to Mexico uh, via Lebanese or Palestinian people. Okay. And now they're very popular in Mexico. Um, but this is uh, this one. Uh, we don't necessarily need seeds from. Okay. But you know that requires half a mile isolation from another zucchini. So but if you just want to grow that, for food, this one yeah. is not likely cross with other okra. Huh. Um, but we're gonna have the other another rare okra grown across the tree line. Um, <laughs> but I don't think they'll cross because they're the different species. But yeah, we got another one that also came from from a family of enslaved people who sought refuge and were welcomed into the Catawba nation, wow. indigenous nation here, and may save their okra that they brought probably from West Africa. Um, no, this is great. This is great. Any cool. really cool. other varieties uh, you know, that are still different right. in your expat community, you're going to find people yes. that have things so, that yeah. they travel, you know. You know, because we have on our port the steam where you know, we, we've always had uh, Senegalese uh, folks on that board, so yeah, we have a particular interest because of ports of uh, Senegal and, yeah. and we never do this, you know, okay. the historical movement, also uh, right. Mali as well. Come about the. Um, Sorghum okay. will give us enough seed again for a few wow. years. Too, right? You can do it as a screen uh, between. Yeah, like the. Yeah, wind yeah, variety. Wind break, yes. Let me. I'll get some. Okay, I'll get, sure. Do you have a? Do you like a certain color? Uh, uh, the color that I'm familiar with is the whitish sort of the white. White one. The, yeah, the white one white has white and black. You know, it's just black like on the outside. Yeah, on the outside. I'll see what I got. That's the one. Don't we, we, have have to we have so different sort. Yeah, different sort. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, 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 there's a red one. Yeah, yeah. there's a red one. Yeah. yeah. I'll look for a West African one. Maybe Come I about the uh, West African yeah. African Caribbean one, working group. Actually, um, yeah. sort of um, extinct in the West Coast, West Africa. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. It's called match. It's like a, a bigger millet. Okay. Yeah. Is that like that pearl millet? Yeah, there's the, the sooner, which is a small millet, and then there's the march, which is a bigger millet. How is it spelled? Uh, it's, it's, that's, the, that's the local language, M-A-C-C. M-A-C-C. Yeah. All right, I'll see. Uh, I actually wrote about it. If, I, if, if you read one of my articles. You have a card? Oh, okay, you have this number. It's all, it's all in the um, email yeah, you for you all. Okay, it's, all, it's all in there. It's all in there. It's all in there. Okay, he gave us that. Yeah. Uh, already included you in our family. Okay. You know this. Uh, we drop what? This extended family. Yeah, I have it. Uh -huh. So we, uh, we see, uh, we're hoping that you will agree to uh, join a particular working group we have, okay. African Caribbean Working Group. Sure. So Jim and I have been meeting weekly for 
several months okay. trying to come up with a vision for working with our uh, brethren throughout the diaspora. Yeah. So we have growers in multiple countries on the continent, okay. and there are struggles related to each one of those countries, but there's also victories related yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I think the real access to quality seed was something that people saw as a barrier.
His phrase, yeah. remembering yeah. what we was. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I used to begin my talks, I do about 40 a year. I used to begin with the Sankofa bird, saying, You can't know where you're going until you understand where you've been, okay? And the seeds of the past yeah. become the reality of the future, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. so tall, I appear to be standing so tall, yes. because my feet are firmly yep. on the shoulders of the ancestors. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. absolutely, right, absolutely. Man. We got some choices for you. Oh, feet, man. <laughs> and that's my sweet nephew. <laughs> So I think this is the one that is the one that would be most exciting to me, but I don't know if this will produce seeds here, you okay. know, because some of them have day length sensitivity issues. Um, but this is a beautiful one from Mali that they call Dorokon. And uh, looks like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's, Aren't they beautiful? Yes, that is, that is, is that what you're yeah. using? Yes, this is sorghum. Yes, definitely. Um, yes, we don't use this in my place, though. No. Yeah, it's not the same, not the same one. Yeah. Well, where would you, could you find out where, where that uh, would be used and how we use it? Okay, no, this one, yeah, I have that. <coughs> um, but then here, I'll call it talk. This one is from Botswana. Wow, That's a nice big one. That is a big one. Uh, you can hold all these as I give them. This one is actually from India. Very white, but oh, smaller. Wow. This is a U.S. bred one that looks a lot like the Botswana one. Yes, that's <laughs> this wow. one is from uh, from Kenya, very small. Do you have deaf? I do have some deaf. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's got it all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this if, one is if he from, it from Ghana and the cards do not. He's got it with me. Well, have, you, have you tried this one here? No. Not all of them, no. You should have a greenhouse and then experiment with all of them. Oh, I've grown well, many, many, many of that's, them before. That's the point. But I just yes. got these from the U.S. So when you go see his website, you can oh, see oh, how he's uh, doing yeah. it. Yeah. You can get ones from Senegal. I, and I had ones from Senegal. I just don't have them with me anymore. Okay, maybe this one's from China. Maybe we should look for that but they one take that they take time. take time. So we sure. we could get that maybe for next, next year. But for this year, you could grow one of these. Okay. This one's also from India. Okay. And wow. then in here, I uh, you can't see them unless we open the packets. But here we have one from um, Somalia, Somalia, 
Somalia, Niger. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's close. <laughs> Zambia. Zimbabwe. Eritrea. Turkey. Uh, Kordofan. Sudan. That from we make we make that from the stock. I know, just, and now just like home, you don't games. make you don't make that. No, that was oh, really? that was no. something that was an innovation. African people brought sorghum here, yes. and then what, apparently, as the story goes, uh, white people were looking for a way to make rum, uh, and sugarcane didn't grow so far north. But they realized that the African sorghum that there that the people they were enslaving were growing in their in their gardens had sweet stalks and they thought well, maybe we can make rum with this and so they started a, they started the industry but some people in Africa from what I've read they they chew on them for, for the sweetness but they don't press them to make molasses and I saw it I'm like wow on our website there is a video okay demonstrating the the process and you can come to Maryland and cuz we get a harvest festival here okay you can but but our people are from Kentucky who taught us how to do it that's how we got here so some more growers who are living in Maryland but they're from Kentucky and I looked at it like sort of I'm like that's a back home. And it turned, yeah. to be that, it turned out to be that our growers that we love so much from Maryland actually were, were, his, were mentees of him. Wow. <laughs> and he's been doing this work for so many years, and so he inspired them. And then it turned out that we were all part of the same beautiful uh, landscape. I'm going to ask you also, Sean, yes, yes, if you yes, can yes, help yes, us yes. look for some tomatoes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have no idea about which varieties are Senegalese. Yeah. Uh, to me, they look so much like the bitter ball. Yeah, yeah, uh, like the eggplant. Yeah. I find it hard to tell them. Also, uh, what particular peppers? Peppers, you yeah. Know, like, uh, peppers. So it would be uh, native to. Uh, okay, to Senegal, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, definitely. And I hope you built a nice big house. Yeah, I've been in back home. Sorry. 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 So we can go. That's right. <laughs> I'll be there in the off season while you're not there. <laughs> I have some land actually three three kilometers from Sali. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm thinking about building a house. But my house. It's a resort. You know. Yeah, oh yeah. We tried to buy. We tried to buy a house because it was a beautiful resort in Sali. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you buddy, for coming out. You rolling them with this? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. Oh yeah. I've got some seeds in the in the car. Oh. I'm excited to grow them, send some back, and keep on thank staying you. connected. Okay. Yeah. And spread the love. You know, tell people about our work. And uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna that's, ask you to go home and talk to this grandma and great grandma yeah. and find out what's the biggest one is important to you. I wrote that down. I'm very excited. Yeah, this one is. <laughs> this, this one is. 